Hi, how are you doing? This is me, Tony, again with another video for you on YouTube. Today I am going to continue to talk about uh, some Phoenician inscriptions from the island of Cyprus, uh, mainly from uh, the cities of uh, Kitty and Idil, or Kition and Idalion, uh, which uh, in the 4th century uh, before Christ were an independent uh, Phoenician kingdom in the island of Cyprus. And those three inscriptions today are dedicated to a, a very particular and uh, uh, famous Phoenician um, Canaanite god, the god Recep, the god of lightning, um, one of the uh, presentations of the uh, supreme god um, Baal, and uh, we are going uh, to see uh, in the end of the video some uh, photos of this uh, Phoenician god that was later adopted by the uh, Egyptians and also by the Greek uh, taking the name uh, Apollon or Apollo. So let us start with the uh, uh, one of those uh, Phoenician inscriptions, the first one is an inscription dating from the year 391 before Christ and in Phoenician it reads Merakia Harutz Aze Ish Yaton Milch Milch Yaton Milch Kitiw Idil Ben Barom La Elio La Reshep Mekal Be Idil Beirah Bul Bishanot Shtem La Molchio Al Kitiw Idil Ki Shama Kolu Yibrochu. This is the uh, Phoenician inscription. Uh, now, uh, now I'm going to give you a, a French translation and this reads Ce bâton d'or est celui qu'a donné le roi Milkiaton, roi de Kition et Idalion, fils de baal Rome, pour son dieu, pour Rachap Mekal à Idalion, au mois de Boule, en l'an 2 de son règne sur Kition et Idalion, parce qu'il a entendu sa voix qu'il le bénisse. In English, this reads, This mace of gold is that which King Milkiaton, King of Kition and Idalion, son of Barrom, gave to his god to Reshep Mekal of Idalion in the months of Bull, in the second year of his reign on Kition and Idalion, because he heard his voice, may he bless him. In Arabic, this reads, المطرقة الذهبية هذه هي التي قدمها الملك ملكيتون ملك كتي وإيديل ابن بعروم لإلهه لرشب ميكال في إيديل لأنه سمع صوت تضرعه فليباركه The second inscription is of an imprecise uh, date but uh, it also mentions the king Milkiaton so it has to be from the same period of the fourth century before Christ. And this reads in Phoenician Semel Aze Ish Yaton Milch Milch Yaton Milch Kitiu Idil Bin Barom La Elio La Reshep Mekal Nasahti et Ibi Hayutsim Wazronim. In French Cette statue est celle qu'a donné le roi Milkiaton, roi de Kition et Idalion, fils de Balram, pour son dieu, pour Rachap Mekal. Grâce à lui, j'ai vaincu mes ennemis qui se sont levés contre moi avec leurs alliés. In English, this reads, This statue is that which was given by King Milkiaton, King of Kition and Idalion, son of Barom, to Reshep Mekal his god, would that I might defeat my enemies who have come forth against me with their allies. In lingua araba, or in uh, Arabic, uh, this reads Atimsalu Haza huwa lazi qaddamahu al Malik Malkiaton, Maliku Kitiwa Idil, Ibn Barom, li Rashab Mikal Ilahihi. بفضله انتصرت على أعداء القادمين علي لمحاربتي مع حلفائهم. 
The third inscription is a, a bilingual inscription. It's a Phoenician and Greek. And here the, 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 the god Recep was uh, translated into the god Apollon or Apollo in Greek. Unfortunately, uh, there are some um, parts of this inscription that are, cannot be uh, read. Uh, so I will uh, stop um, and add the word X and Y instead of um, the uh, missing um, um, Phoenician letters. Beomim X, Leirah Y. Bishanot Arba, Lamulch, Milch Yaton, Milch Kitiu Idil, Semel Aze, Ish Yaton, Uyatuno, Adonunu Barom, Ben Abmil, La Elio, La Reshep Mikal, Ki Shama Kolu Yebrochu. In French, the streets O X. Jour du mois de Y, en l'an 4 du roi Milkiaton, roi de Kition et Idalion, ceci est l'image qu'a offerte et érigée notre seigneur, seigneur Baalrom, fils de Abmil, pour son dieu, pour Rajab Mekal, parce qu'il a entendu l'appel de sa voix, qu'il le bénisse. In English, this would read. On the day X of the month Y, in the fourth year of the reign of King Milkiaton, King of Kition and Idalion, this is the statue that was given and was erected by our Lord Barron, son of Abmil, to his God, to Reshep Mekal, because he heard his voice. May he bless him. In Arabic, this reads, Filiaum el Fulani, من الشهر الفلاني وفي السنة الرابعة لملك الملك ملكياتون ملك كيتي وإيديل هذا هو التمثال الذي قدمه ونصبه سيدنا بعروم ابن عبد مير لإلهه لرشب ميكال لأنه سمع صوت تضرعه فليباركه I've added few links uh, in the description of this video for you to um, review if you want to have more information about uh, the god Reshep and, um, um, and how he was transformed into an Egyptian and uh, Greek god and also about, um, I've provided some photos of the god and its uh, um, Canaanite form and then in its uh, Egyptian form and Greek form. Um, that's all I have to say today. Um, I just would like to just add a one word before I, I leave. It's um, the word harutz, which means in Phoenician um, um, gold. And this word um, was taken by the um, Romans and it was unchanged in, 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 Roman, uh, in the Roman um, or Latin uh, language. Aurus means um, uh, gold. And for me as a doctor, one of the famous microbes called Staphylococcus aureus, which is um, one of the uh, very famous um, microbes. And it still um, have uh, this uh, Phoenician um, uh, name uh, for the gold which is Aurus or Harutz. So that's all for today and I'll see you next time with another Phoenician uh, uh, inscription. Um, we're going to continue with um, probably short inscriptions from the island of Cyprus and um, hope to see you soon. Uh, God bless you all and thank you for watching. Bye.